it's not a thing, man, we don't do it anymore because you guys don't respect us anymore. Okay. Second, you guys don't need us anymore. I don't need it, man. Sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one is trying to help me. It's but why should they? And why would they even want to? After all, women have been telling men over and over again to leave them alone. Women are independent. They don't need men. And now some are complaining when men are actually listening to them. They don't make real men anymore. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not all men, because there are good men out there. That's a very good point. There are good men out there. Something you'll hear these women say is they'll say, oh, it's not 1950s anymore. And essentially they're trying to insinuate, oh, we're past that. We've evolved. We're modern and we're hip. We're too good for that. But they only say that when that tradition doesn't overtly benefit them and make their life easier. So when you date and interact with women who think like this, that sort of thinking is going to man it's manifest itself through one-sided gender roles. So you be a man unconditionally, and, and they'll be a woman when they feel like it. And this sort of thinking is like their default thinking. So if you date them, you have a big task on your hands if you want to try to like deprogram it out of them. This is their default setting. And when you've analyzed and reacted to as many clips as I have, you'll notice that modern women are very, very, very hypocritical in many different ways, in ways you may not even realize yet. For example, one time I reacted to a clip of this couple on their wedding day, wedding night, whatever, and they were asked, who wears the pants in the relationship? And the woman raised the shoe as saying, I'm the one who wears the pants. And the man raised his hand saying, no, I'm the one who wears the pants. And she gave him a look and he put the shoe down, basically conceding, yes, you do in fact wear the pants. And just the women in the comments were cheering that on. They thought that was so amazing. They thought it was so empowering. They were laughing about, oh, he really understands because all she had to do was look at him and he, he, he fell into his place. He knew. Whereas, imagine it were the other way around and a dude gives a woman a look. They would freak out. They would say, oh my God, she's being abused at home. <laughs> He's doing awful things to her. Someone save her. Someone look into her. Someone send someone over to check on her. It's just in these little ways, they are extremely hypocritical. And, and I find that one specifically to be really funny. As a woman, like you don't see men holding doors anymore. They don't help anymore. They rush and sit down on trains and buses before women and pregnant women and elderly are sitting down. It's just a hot mess out here. But Yeah, in my opinion, the whole treat a woman like a woman just because she's a woman, that's over. Certainly in my life is over because I'm not going to treat some feminist who probably hates men. Oh, and by the way, specifically straight white men. I'm not going to all of a sudden treat her so nicely or treat her like a woman or treat her like a lady when she's this boss babe don't need no man straight white man male privilege anti-male misandrist no thanks you can do that if you want you can be that sucker but that ain't gonna be me and i could be wrong but i'm sure this woman here has probably said in her lifetime i don't need a man i'm an independent woman i could do bad all by myself i could be wrong but it's very likely she probably has. And I can hear people thinking, oh, Nate, just, just help her out. Be the bigger person. Be a man, even, even if she is a feminist. And it's that same mentality that has made these women feel so bold to openly talk down on men and even in the mainstream media write and speak badly about men. Because they all think, oh, it's okay, they're men. They'll accept it. They'll tolerate it. Because a lot of men out there actually do tolerate this type of shit. They actually are punching bags for women and they allow women to walk all over them there are plenty of men out there like that it is our job as men to check bad behavior and keep order and prevent chaos just look at what happens when the feminine left got into power see i believe masculinity and femininity are fundamentally good things but when it comes to femininity if there's a lack of masculinity that can devolve quickly into tyranny because that's how women cope with power. So if we look at the left, who believes in feminism and LGBTQ plus 
and pushing this anti-white agenda, saying racism is bad except when you're racist to a certain race, just really sinister ideas. This is the f- the feminine left that believes in this type of stuff. They're they're locking up their political opponents. They are allowing organizations like BLM to alter the outcome of justice. We have the FBI and these other government organizations plagued by wokeness, and we're seeing that play out. This is what happens when unchecked femininity takes over. This just becomes tyranny. And we're seeing it play out in America. We're seeing how quickly America has devolved when we allow the feminine left to come in and take over. Talking point, I cannot stand. I just can't wait to hear this one. I can't stand, oh, well, you can't say fuck all men and then expect them to protect you, protect women, or... Oh, this argument. You can't expect them to protect you without giving them some autonomy and control over your life. Actually, in order to be protected by another person, that individual does have to relinquish some of their autonomy. I absolutely can't expect those things. Absolutely agreed. A person can absolutely expect that. But that's not a realistic expectation. Especially when it starts out with this. Oh, man. Because saying something like that is a very clear message to most men that one doesn't even want them around. Yet at the same time, one is expecting those same men to protect you. Now, how exactly are men supposed to navigate that field of contradictory statements and come out unscathed? If you picture this, right, and you've got a man and you've got a woman in front of her, and basically the objective here is, okay, protect me. And she says, okay, you got to protect me when I run into this jungle infested with lions, okay? And then she comes out, she's like, okay, you got to protect me in this dangerous neighborhood. And, she, and you have to like follow her. And she's like, okay, now you have to protect me inside of this club at 2 a.m. where everybody's drunk. And then she runs out and says, okay, now you got to protect me over here. That's kind of what she's saying. She's like, okay, you have to protect me at all the time, but you don't get a say. Whereas if it were really up to me, right, and I am here to protect you, I'm going to say, no, we're not going in that jungle. No, we're not going in that club at 2 a.m. No, we're not going into that dangerous neighborhood. But what she's saying should happen is the first scenario. Oh, you just, just follow me wherever I go and protect me no matter where I go. And, hey, that's that's the way it is. And, you know, she's saying, um, fuck all men, like saying just like fuck all men and then still expecting them to protect you. When it ultimately just boils down to don't bite the hand that feeds you. Because one definitely seems to want it both ways. In the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting, it's the third date, fourth date, a week later. He hasn't gone in for the kiss. He doesn't do any touching or anything. And I've asked my dude friends that are single, and they are like, you don't know where a woman's going to go with that story where I ain't touching nobody. The Me Too movement is full of liars and people who try to use the system to gain and make money off of the men they're accusing. And also, what did you think was going to happen? You create this movement of feminism that pretty much domesticates men and tells them that they need uh, approval and consent from everything they do. They are to walk on eggshells around women. They are oppressors. They are toxic. What did you think was going to happen? Like, did they really not see this coming? That guy was speaking facts. You ever seen those videos? And I'm going to speak to New York City. I, I come from New York City. Have you ever seen those videos that pop up from the subway where you'll see a woman being harassed on the subway by I don't know who? And there's a bunch of guys just sitting there watching and they don't do anything about it. Yeah. What do you think is causing that trend, particularly in cities like New York City and Los Angeles among men? I think this whole teaching boys that they're equal to women and women that they're equal to boys doesn't help. I think that uh, men, by and large, and this, if anybody, if any man hears this and isn't just upset, there, I don't know what you are then, because men are just weaker than we were before, statistically speaking. This is very similar to the reason why straight masculine men aren't really that excited to defend this country anymore, because I mean, once the army went woke, started putting out these woke uh, campaigns, commercials, and ads to try to recruit people, started talking about diversity and LGBTQ+, all this nonsense. 
why would they really and even even the state of the country like we don't really want to defend it anymore obviously i'm not in the military but i know that there are plenty of midwestern corn-fed masculine men who typically do sign up for the military Mm, they don't really want to do it anymore nah they're good why why again why would they want to really defend a country that kind of hates them right now you know it's funny now that the whole thing going on in in the middle east now they're putting out ads full of white men the ads now are just just bombarded no more diversity no more queer stuff nope that's how you know uh we're going <laughs> we're, we're getting involved in war is once they start putting out ads that are targeted specifically towards the midwestern the southern average american so again it, it's the same scenario why would I want to defend this country? Why would I want to defend these women? And also, in these liberal cities, people are punished for, for defending others. Once you get involved, say you do help a woman, say you do beat up the perpetrator, oh, well, you're probably going to go to jail next. You're probably going to go to jail now because you got involved, and hey, that's that's no, no, no. You're not supposed to do that. Not in liberal cities. You can't be a hero anymore. And again, who is in power to facilitate that environment. Think about when you go to a bar, who's supposed to buy women drinks? Men are. Do you see that as often as like years and years ago? All costs. I get all that, man. I have to protect Even that, when blah, girls blah, blah. are fighting with each other, like it is so ugly. It is the ugliest thing that there is men around and they're not doing anything. But why do you think men don't do that anymore? Because they used to do that before. But why do you think they don't do that anymore? They stopped doing that. Why do you think you're a man? <laughs> you tell me. First of all, good uh-huh. question. The reason I think men, we don't do it anymore because you guys don't respect us anymore. Okay. Second, you guys don't need us anymore. I don't need a man. I'm a strong woman, independent. You are independent, you're strong. What do you need me for? What do you complain to me not protecting when you already have everything that you want? I'm a bum. <laughs> what do you need me for? I think she gets it now. These ungrateful Jezebels getting exactly what they asked for. You can buy your own drink, ho- I protect my loved ones, not some random 304 who goes around barking, I don't need a man. Anyways, I hope you liked that video. If you did, you know what to do. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.